There you are. I've been looking all over for you. You're just in time. We almost had to start without you. What exactly were you starting without me now? Look who showed up, everybody. Deal him in, would you, Ruffles? I do hope I recall the rules. It's been ages since I've played a game of Wicked Grace. Grab a seat. We're ready to start. Are we playing cards or what? Are three drakes better than a pair of swords? Ugh, I can never remember. Seeker, remember how I said, don't show anyone your hand? That rule includes announcing it to the table. There's a crown on his head, but a sword too. His head didn't want either. Don't talk to the face cards, kid. You seem to have enough people. I have a thousand things to do. Losing money can be both relaxing and habit forming. Give it a try. Curly, if any man in history ever needed a hobby, it's you. Dealer starts. Oh, I believe I'll start at. Oh, three coppers. Do you think that's too daring? Maybe I'll make it one. No. Boldness. Three it is. Seriously, who starts at three coppers? Silver or go home? Sounds good. I'm in. Bolder the better, right? I'm in. Me too. Well, are you in? Just remember, I'm still new to this game. Don't worry, you'll pick it up in no time. So shiny. Just remember, if you run out of coin, you can still bet your clothing. What? You didn't tell me that. Is it my turn? Is this when I place a bet? <laughs> the poor recruit ran out into the dining hall in nothing but his knickers. And this profound silence fell over the hall as 70 mages and 30 Templars all turned to stare at once. Then a slow round of applause began and spread until every soul was on their feet. A standing ovation. <laughs> what, what did he do? Saluted, turned on his heel, and marched out like he was in full armor. <laughs> he did not. Good man. <laughs> You're shitting us. <laughs> That's how you know it's true. I could never put that in a book. Too unlikely. I've got one for you. Firstly, my aunt is known across the free marches for her love of Antivan opera. So, of course, when a performance of the murder of Queen Madrigal opened, she made us all attend. My aunt refused to speak to me for three months. <laughs> Not bad. You don't mind if I steal that one, do you? <laughs> well done. <laughs> you ought to tell stories more often. I like the part with the rabbit. There should be more rabbits in stories. That was scandalous. It would ruin the Inquisition if anyone found out. Tell it again. I think it's our professional storyteller's turn to tell one. I think I can manage that. Did I ever tell you about the time we broke into Chateau Hain? It started, as most capers do, with a trap. And then Hawk looks up and says, Looks like the Duke has fallen from grace. <laughs> That's how Duke Prosper died? You know, that's almost perfect for him. And the dealer takes everything. I win again. Deal again. I've figured out your tells, Lady Ambassador. Commander, everyone knows a lady has no tells. Then let's see if your good fortune lasts one more hand. I'm not losing any more coin to Josephine, but I have got to see this. Don't say a word, dwarf. <laughs> I tried to warn you, Curly. Never bet against an Antivan, Commander. I'm leaving. I don't want to witness our Commander's walk of shame back to the barracks. Well, I do. It comes off. I didn't know it came off.
I'm glad you decided to join us tonight. It's too easy to mistake you for the Inquisitor. You're mistaking me for me. How much did you have to drink? It's easy to forget you're not just an icon or symbol. Like those statues of Andraste holding bowls of fire. A at least it is for me. You up for another game when this is all over, Inquisitor? Every time I play, I increase the odds of winding up like Cullen. You're never more alive than when you're about to lose your pants, my friend. Who's that? Did I win? I've got one for you. So, my kith was hired for a simple caravan escort in southern Navarra. Twelve days of walking alongside donkeys and men who smelled like donkeys across flat nothingness. Chakrakar turned to the donkey and said, We'll let this go if you will, and walked away. I've got one for you. The clan decided to camp near this ruined fortress, right on the edge of the Tirashan, dark as the bottom of a well. The keeper swore up and down it was safe, but some of the hunters started hearing noises in the middle of the night. They ran out of there, fast as you think, bare asses shining in the moonlight, <laughs> the whole way back to their village. I've got one for you. There was this time the carter sent me to do some collections. Just pick up the protection money and bring it back by any means necessary. What they forgot to tell me was the first business on that list was this old seamstress. He never paid a rusty copper of protection again, and if you mentioned her name to the dasher, his ears turned purple. I've got one for you. It was the night of my harrowing. I was standing in the middle of a room full of Templars and senior enchanters. As the night commander read me the chant, I got the nagging feeling something was missing. <laughs> they put me in the Ostwick Circle history book, which the first enchanter kept under lock and key, and never spoke of it again. <laughs> <laughs>